which are the best run off the bat Saucony Endorphin Speed 2 these right here are my first Saucony pairs that I've owned and I still use them they're called the Green Goblins they have well over 300 miles and they're still in freaking killer shape except this part. I still use it. I still feel great in them. They're overall the best training shoe. Temple shoe. Speed work shoe. Marathon shoe. Half marathon shoe. So much so that I bought another pair just in case anything happens. I bought the black and white versions, which... Super cheap, in my opinion, in a variety of different colors. It's recommended for you guys to go to a shoe store and get fitted. I never did that. So how my journey began is the A6 Nova Blast number one. That shoe completely changed the game for me to actually start pursuing running. I just started buying shoes and I just started really enjoying them because every company offers something very specific with stability, cushioning. Everybody's looking for something. What I was looking for, the, those Asics Nova Blast had a nice little kick to them. Every time I wanted speed, the speed was there. If I wanted to slow down, I could slow down without feeling like the shoe itself is bogging me down, meaning it's not sabotaging that energy return. And I actually own four Saucony pairs. I have these Saucony Endorphins 2 Pros that have a carbon plate. What is a carbon plate? So carbon fiber right in the middle. So you're able to get a little bit more of a kick. So these are pretty much race shoes. But if you're actually doing speed work, these are perfect for speed work. I actually still use them in general for workouts, but not as often as just the regular ones. These are specifically for speed work. The Endorphin Speed 3 Pro. These are only for race day or, like I said, really, really fast workouts. These are a blast. Let me go back to these pairs. Everything that Saucony has done overall with their shoes has been phenomenal because that's what they're really focused on. They're honestly just the best shoe. They, they have it down. I mean... How it how it fits. I wore this for about two months and my foot hitting the pavement felt seamless. It fits perfect. It feels amazing. As soon as I got the money to buy these, they were over 120 bucks when they first got announced. I was stoked. I was scared. And I said, man, I've never spent this amount of money on a running shoe, particularly that I'm only going to use for running. And I'm glad I did because ever since then, I've the, the shoe really plays an important part to you feeling that excitement of like, oh, cool, I get to put my running shoes on. Now I'm going to go run. The Endorphin Speed 2 is equipped with Saucony's innovative Power Run PB cushioning, which provides an excellent balance between cushioning and responsiveness. It delivers a responsive ride that propels you forward with each step, making it ideal for speed workouts and races. And like I said, it's also ideal for your training and overall workouts. Lightweight design. These shoes are incredibly light, which reduces the energy expenditure required to lift your feet. The lighter the shoe, the less effort you need to put into each stride, ultimately helping you maintain your pace for longer durations comfortably. Yes, absolutely. Weight has a lot to do with this, and they use literally the best material that, quite honestly, is unpenetratable. I mean, this, this material right here, pff, it's lasted 300 miles. 
A lot of other shoes from other companies, they're done after 150 miles, 200 miles. Versatile for various workouts. The versatility of the Endorphin Speed 2 makes it an excellent choice for a wide range of workouts from tempo runs to long distance races. Its adaptable design allows you to switch seamlessly between training sessions without needing multiple pairs of shoes. And that is correct. I have multiple pairs of shoes, but that's because that's my own personal liking. I like to try shoes and I mean, come on, <laughs> I'm a color junkie. I love other companies' colors and how they mix them and Saucony, it does a very good job in mixing these crazy colors together too. Um, it's just extremely versatile, honestly. The Endorphin Speed 2 is just, <laughs> it's an icon for myself that I've tried a lot of them and I've seen a lot of new ones. I'm like, it just doesn't match it. I love how it feels. Durable and supportive. Despite the lightweight construction, these shoes are built to last. The durable rubber outside soles excellent traction can withstand the wear and tear of regular training. Additionally, they offer ample support and comfort, ensuring that your feet stay comfortable during extended runs. And this shoe came out in 2021. Shoes are like audio equipment. They don't really change. Yeah, little feature, features here, little features over there. I mean, shoes are shoes. You can only go so far in technology and how they're able to propel you forward, seriously. And I think I, I know this right here is the perfect one. It's perfect for me, and I'm sure it's going to be perfect for you. So with that being said... Saucony and Dolphin Speed 2 are the overall my best choice for 2024, 2025. I mean, for a very, very long time. Trust me when I say that because I've worn these for the past two years. And boy, I've had a lot of fun and I still am. I'm actually going to wear these right now to go do an easy run. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you guys find this extremely helpful because... I get, I get asked that a lot, and here it is. This is the one right here that I highly recommend. If these are not the ones, Saucony is the running company you should look after. All right. Catch you guys later. Peace.